In this video, I'm breaking down 10 brands that you must grab in 2023, not only because these are brands that I've actually found at the thrift store and some on multiple occasions, but because these brands have a high sell through. So when I started doing these videos, I was looking at the sell through at a brand level. And as I evolved, I started to break down the brands into their subcategories or the categories that I personally sell. So I was breaking down the sell through rate of polos, button downs, dress shirts and T-shirts. But I've evolved from there and now I also include outerwear. But in this video, what I've done is I've taken it a step further and I'm breaking down all the sizes of each category of the brands. So you're in for a treat. Let's jump right in. All right, the first brand is Villubrocon. They are a French swimwear brand. They do actually sell shirts. And it's kind of funny because on their website, they wear these long sleeve dress shirts with their swimming trunks and they consider it beachwear over there. So I don't know if that's how all Europeans do it, uh, but they are a French brand. So it is definitely different than the way we do it here. But um, let's break down the categories that I sell. Uh, so the first one is sweaters. Uh, as you can see, it has 100% sell through. Now, if you notice on the notation side, I put few overall and I did that for a couple. I did it for the jackets and the dress shirts. And that just basically means if you can see the number three, three, that means that there was three actively listed and three sold. And if you don't know, eBay basically sorts their uh, sold information based off of a 90 day period. So as you can see, it's just not a lot of action when it comes to those three categories. So I wouldn't rely too much on the sell through on those because the moment that someone lists, you know, two uh, sweaters, then, you know, the, the sell through rate is going to drop significantly. Moving on to their T-shirts, their T-shirts uh, at, a, at a category uh, level has a 72% sell through. But as you can see, I have highlighted in bold and red what items have 80% or higher. Only the large, the large has a, has a really high sell through at 250%. The extra large has an 80% sell through. Everything else doesn't. The 3XL is kind of one of those. If you can see, I have one, one, that means one actively listed, one sold. It's just not inf enough information there. It's just something that I'll make a real time decision when I'm there. Their polos have a 75% sell through. Um, the extra small did have 100%, but of, but of course, it's just not information to extract with only one sold in the last 90 days. Smalls do have 8% sell through. And when it comes to most brands, like the, high, the higher the sizes are, usually they sell well. But as you can see, the 2XL, the 3XL, the 4XLs just didn't do that well. So it's not that that's not the case for every brand. And this is one of the, the pieces of information that I've extracted from doing so many of these sell through is that every brand is unique in what's popular or not. Um, so the extra large 92% sell through, that's great. The large has 78%, but if you don't know, the sell through rate does fluctuate on a day to day basis, you know, minute to minute because there's things selling and, and being listed at all times. So when I look at these sell through, it just gives me kind of like a general idea. Like I use it as a guide, you know, to 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 guide my decisions. Right. It's not black and white. It's not concrete, um, but it does give you a lot of useful information that I believe will help you with your reselling. But the the things that are what I have actually found and sold uh, multiple times is their button downs. So as you can see, uh, the button downs have 100 percent sell through small, medium, large does well. Extra large at 78% is actually good as well too, because that can fluctuate up into the 80s and the 90s. 2XL has 187% sell through. All right, the next brand is Carbon to Cobalt. They are a rough hewn American clothing brand. Um, let's look at their polos, 30% sell through. This is something that before I would look at at the thrift store and I'll see 30% and I'll just skip over it, right? Because that's just really low. But if you if you break down the sizes, you can see that if it is a 2XL, it's definitely something that I would consider getting. The same thing happened with me and my and the Tommy Bahamas that I was getting. I was buying a lot of Tommy Bahamas at the beginning because they were selling. But when I look back at what was actually selling, it was everything that was 2XL and higher. Now, every now and then I do sell mediums, large, smalls. But for the most part, it was the 2XLs that were selling for me. So that's why it's important to break this stuff down. Their button down, 79% sell through. Smalls have 89% sell through. 2XLs have 85% sell through. But even the large, extra large is things that I would consider getting. Dress shirts. In the notation, you see I put no dress shirts, wrong subcategory. This happens a lot with a lot of the brands where you will see a few dress shirts, but they're not actually dress shirts. They're, they're casual button downs that people put in the dress shirts. Mm -hmm. All right, the jackets have 128% sell through, um, small, medium, large, extra large. 
good numbers to me. Extra small, when you see that I put 0% few or 0% and I put the actual numbers, that means that there's some actually listed, right? But, but none have sold. So there could be two actively listed and none have sold. So when it's just few like that, it, I, you know, it's just something that I'll make the decision when I'm there, but it's just not enough information for me to extract a more accurate sell through. All right, t-shirts is where they shine. And this is the category that I, whenever I find, I have sold 152% sell through. As you can see, here's another thing. Extra small says zero. When it says zero without the percent, that means that there was none listed and none have sold but small medium large extra large 2xl pretty much any size i'm going to pick up in this brand what does really well are their henleys and they do have a lot of them that's what sells really well um, and that's what brings up the sell through rate really high when it comes to the t-shirts all right sweaters 152 percent sell through uh, again anything small and up i'm going to get i will even consider maybe getting an extra small if it is a nice looking sweater and it's in good condition especially if you find it at the bins then you know there's a, a lot more room for error there all right the next brand is james purse they are a west coast lifestyle brand as you can see they do really well in all of the categories the one that has the least uh sell through is the polos but even with that you have the mediums that have 163 percent sell through and the extra large with 183 percent now it's kind of weird that it kind of flip-flops, you know, small has 73% uh, sell through and then the mediums go up really high. Large is decent and then the extra large go really high. So that for me, that means that if I find a polo of James Purse and it's a large, I'm going to look it up at the store because I still have confidence that the brand, it, you know, is going to do really well overall. But as you can see, when you go into the button downs, 91%, as long as it's not a small, extra small, medium and, and up, I'm going to get. When it comes to the sweaters, 119% sell through everything between small and extra large. I'm going to get right overall. This brand does really well. All right. Jackets, 158% sell through pretty much across the board. T-shirts, 175% sell through pretty much across the board. And again, dress shirts that 200% sell through. If it looks like a dress shirt and it has like a dress size, like, you know, like 16, you know, neck and stuff like that, I would have to make a decision there. Um, but if it's like a medium, large or whatever, I will consider it being a button down, right? If it doesn't look, if it has a pattern or something, it doesn't look like a dress shirt. All right. Next brand is Roback. Roback is a performance activewear brand. This is just a brand oh, uh, besides their t-shirts, which ha would have a, which have a 30% sell through. And as you can see there, there wasn't many listed and a few were actually polos. So the, 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 the solds that I saw there were just all over the place. I wouldn't uh, rely on the t-shirts. I probably wouldn't even pick it up. But as you can see, the jackets, polos, and sweaters are home runs. It's just a phenomenal brand that's going to sell extremely fast, right? You can see in the sell through, it's just extremely high. All right, next brand is Affliction. They are a unique, alternative, edgy fashion brand. Their stuff looks very gothic-like or biker-like uh, with skulls, statues, angels, stuff like that. All right, everything, as you can see, is red. So super high sell-through. Sweaters, 191%. Jackets, 143%. T-shirts, 132%, right? Everything has a super high sell-through. But here's where I feel like you have to know the sizes, right? Because if you find a sweater, large do extremely well, extra large extremely well, right? But when it comes to the mediums and small, it just doesn't sell as well, right? So even though at a category level, it has a high sell through, you don't want to pick up an extra small or a small and then it sits there and then you're wondering, well, why isn't this selling? I thought, you know, their sweaters have a super high sell through, right? So you have to start breaking things down at a granular level if you really want to have everything in your store be at a high sell through all right so their jackets 143 percent sell through um even their smalls at 66 percent i might get it if it's a really nice looking jacket and i would probably double check it at the store but everything else i wouldn't even think about it i'll pick it up for sure t-shirts um i've sold a couple of their t-shirts everything across the board from extra small to four xl phenomenal Button downs at 110% sell through. Their smalls, again, I would consider checking it at the store. And their polos, everything looks pretty good except the large, but still 75% is not bad at all. Our next brand is Howler Bros. They are a design driven outdoor apparel brand. Jackets, 282% sell through. Everything from small and above, pick it up. 
activewear hoodie and sweatshirts is 152 percent sell through again if you just search the category level you might see a small pick it up and it might not do as well it might sit in your store uh, medium and up is definitely going to perform well all right their polos this is interesting to me because at the category level it has a 58 percent sell through which I, if i was to check this at the store would probably not be something that i would want to bring into my store but knowing that the mediums and the large do really well that's why i find this to be very interesting um, just to see, you know, what are the sizes doing when it comes to the sell through? All right, t shirts at 80% sell through. The large and the extra large have a really high sell through. This is what I find really interesting because if you compare the polos at a 58% sell through rate and the t shirts at an 80% sell through rate, you would think that at 80% sell through, more sizes will do well. But just like the polos, there's only two sizes that are doing well. Are right, the button downs coming in at 160% sell through? This is what I've picked up and have sold. Um, they do extremely well. They sell for a good average selling price. They sell really high. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I have all the average selling prices there um, listed. Everything that you see with the dollar sign is the average selling price, but I have picked up their button downs. They sell really well for a good for a good price. Definitely, this is one of the categories that you wanna be looking out for, the Holler Bro button downs. All right, next brand is Buck Mason. They are a simple modern American brand. All the pieces that I found from them is just basic stuff, like just a basic t-shirt or a basic polo, solids, um, no patterns, nothing like that. Their sweaters, 292% sell through. Everything across the board you wanna pick up. Jackets, 250% sell through. Everything you wanna pick up. Activewear hoodies and sweatshirts, 331% sell through. Everything does really well. Their smalls is the only thing that's a little bit struggling. Um, their button downs, 200% sell through. Everything across the board you're gonna to wanna to pick up. When it comes to their polos, I've actually picked up their polos and it sold pretty quickly. But it was because it was uh, it was either a large or an extra large uh, T-shirts, 149% sell through mediums and up is what you want to be looking for. All right. The next brand is Buttercloth. And this is actually a brand that was on Shark Tank and they brand themselves as the world's most comfortable shirts. All right. So their polos, 266% sell through. As you can see, there was just not in a lot, but I would definitely pick up any polos that I see of theirs. I, I have really, uh, I have a lot of confidence in this brand. Their t-shirts, uh, as you can see, their average selling price is at $15. Maybe I'll pick it up depending on the condition or not. Um, it doesn't have a really big margin. So if I pick it up for really cheap or if I pick it up at the bins, for sure, I would take it, I would grab it. But their button downs, I feel is where they shine. 152% sell through. You can, you can feel confident with picking up pretty much anything. Even the 3XL, I would be confident in picking it up at a 75% sell through rate. But this, I have picked it up a few times. And each time, right away, I start getting offers same day um, this item is listed. All right, the next brand is Psycho Bunny. They are the classics redefined. As you can see, they have a lot of categories that they sell in. Uh, let's break it down. Sweaters, 136% sell through rate. They have three active actively listed extra smalls nothing has sold but everything small and above you definitely want to pick up jackets 115 uh, percent sell through smalls i would still consider looking up at the store mediums and up i'm going to pick up active wear tops 100 percent sell through medium through extra large i definitely will pick up uh, 2XL, 3XL is just one of those things that i would double check at the store active wear hoodies and sweatshirts 144 percent sell through everything is selling across the board dress shirts have 207 percent sell through a lot of sizes are not specified basically um when it comes to the dress shirts it's a little bit tricky sometimes because sometimes you have them say like small medium large extra large and other times you have the dress shirt sizes um but when it came to these it just didn't have uh, a lot of the sizes so it was hard to extract you know like uh, you know, or how do the smalls do compared to the mediums to, you know, compared to the large when it comes to the sell through. So overall at 207% sell through, I'm pretty confident in picking them up regardless of the size. Um, when it comes to the button downs, 162% sell through rate, I'm going to pick up anything across the board. Polos is what I've picked up a few times. They do extremely well. I've sold some as, as fast as one day, small, 
and up i'm gonna pick up 30 percent sell through rate for the extra small as you can see there was 13 13 actively listed and only four had sold so i will be very hesitant in buying the extra smalls and the t-shirts 135 percent sell through rate anything small and above i'm gonna pick up and the extra smalls at 61 percent i'll definitely double check at the store all right, next brand is Todd Snyder. They are a modern American style brand. Uh, their sweaters, 182% sell through. Everything across the board, I'm going to pick up. Their button downs, 84% sell through. Their extra smalls don't do too well, but anything small and above, as you can see, it has a high sell through. Jackets, 84% sell through rate. Um, smalls do well. Mediums for sure. Large for sure extra large for sure 2xl i'll double check at the store active wear hoodies and sweatshirts 186 percent sell through rate even their extra small and small i'll double check at the store that's a pretty good sell through rate when it's uh lower than 80 percent it all depends on the condition of it it all depends on the style like the design and where i'm getting it from if i'm at the bins i'm picking it up you know, the only reason why I have this stuff highlighted in red at 80% or higher is when I'm shopping at the thrift store because I want to make sure that if I'm going to spend uh, a little bit more for these items that I only want to get stuff that is going to sell fast. All right, polos, 213% sell through rate. Everything is pretty good except the smalls, but I would still consider double checking that at the store. I feel confident that it probably will still do well. Um, T-shirts, 114% sell-through rate. Um, again, the smalls, kind of weird that the smalls don't do as well in both the polos and the T-shirts. I don't know if that's something that's consistent with that brand, but definitely something to keep an eye out for. And finally, the dress shirts at 29% sell-through. Only one size reached 60% sell-through and the rest were below 50%. So this is definitely something that I won't consider getting sell through is the most important thing in this game in my opinion i would rather have items that give me a 10 15 profit 20 profit that i can flip fast versus having an item that has a hundred dollar profit but it's going to take a few months to sell if you want to learn about high sell through and you want to learn how to find the sell through rate of any item that you sell on ebay then you definitely want to check this video out go check it out yeah like right now